Grant here on the Vegas. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. You like Pacquiao's chances tonight against this counterpuncher. What are you looking for out of him? Well, I like Pacquiao against most guys, you know, as long as he doesn't go way out of his weight class. Don't forget, this is a guy that, you know, you could have thought of him as a jockey. Yeah, he started at 106 pounds. Yeah, I mean, he's so small, and he keeps growing, he keeps getting bigger, but I love his attitude. I mean, that's the first thing. I mean, to me, everyone looks at all the physical things. To me, his one of his greatest, if not his, his temperament. You know, he seems like a fighter. And not just a guy who's going to go hit you, but a guy that has to make adjustments when he has to. And his hands are terrific hand speed. This punch is going to have a hard time tonight with that hand speed. Of There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Carries that punch intended for the head. Nice, precise work doubling it up by Manny Pacquiao. Able to dismiss that body shot. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And in round number one, you already get the sense that they have no intentions of this fight going the distance. He missed with that headshot. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. Unbelievable work there, landing a four-punch combo. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand score. Good counterpunch. Now, this is impressive stuff right here because he's showing us that he can counter his opponent perfectly. And you don't have to be a big banger when you're a good counterpuncher because now you're catching the guy coming in and you're catching him real clean, so you're going to be really effective. Sending shots to the midsection. And a well-placed counter by Money. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Denies his opponent, comes with the overhand right. Manny Pacquiao showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just fighting smart. I mean, not just reckless aggression, but smart, accurate punching. And talking about IQs, it's being led by that left jab, an educated left jab. A jab that talks a little bit, talks a couple languages. I mean, he's hooking off it, he's uppercutting off it, he's doubling up on it. Good job. Now that's some fine work right there by Money. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Manny Pacquiao. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Blocks the headshot. Teddy, do you think the sport needs a national or international governing body? Yeah, it's the only major sport, at least it used to be a major sport, that doesn't have that. And there's no unilateral control. Oh, Manny Pacquiao's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Manny able to block that. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Oh! Manny Pacquiao's gone down. A knockdown scored here. And boy, oh boy, he is in bad shape now. So Manny Pacquiao, he goes down and now he rises up to move on.
Now he's going to have to show that he can be smart. We know he can be tough. We know that he can be exciting. Can he be smart enough to find a way to survive? Comes right back with some offense of his own. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Once again to the head. You always say punchers are born, Teddy. But what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. of this round. He's going to try to survive it. just came out of the movie theater, Joe, and I did not expect that ending. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights. Oh,